Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeel. During His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's tour of the kingdom's southern area, he visited the Gravity Indoor Skydiving Team accompanied by the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty was received by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior of Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of Gravity Company, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and a number of officials and members of the team. His Majesty congratulated the team members on their honorable achievement of winning a gold medal in the Flight Fighters 2017 Championship for indoor skydiving hailing the participants' performance and the efforts of the technical and administrative authorities and their keenness on honoring the kingdom and raising its status. His Majesty noted the leading role of the kingdom in hosting and organizing various international sports championships, commending the development of air sports in the kingdom, as well as the result of the efforts of the Bahrain Air Sports Federation staff and their keenness on providing all support facilities to the sports players to increase their competency. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, headed by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, which aim at developing various sports and encouraging the youth to participate in them. He wished everyone success in the Indoor Skydiving World Cup 2018. His Majesty toured the Gravity Village and met a number of citizens and visitors who expressed pleasure with meeting His Majesty the King, who highlighted the role of touristic facilities and supporting the touristic sector in the Kingdom. For their part, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid and the Gravity team members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his visit and directives, praising His Majesty's interest and support to the team and all air sports in the Kingdom.
In the presence of the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment, President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club today organized the sixth race of the season, which was held over the cups of the Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company, GPIC, Arabian Horse Institution for Equestrian and Veterinary Services, and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club at the club's race course in Sakhir. Present were a number of their Royal Highnesses, representatives of the sponsoring companies, and horse racing fans. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Washington, D.C. held a celebration to mark Bahrain National Day. The event was hosted by the Ambassador of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, at the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. The United States Secretary of the Navy, Richard Spencer, Vice President of the Worldwide Public Sector for Amazon Web Services, the AWS, Teresa Carlson, and members of the United States Congress were in attendance. In a speech, the ambassador welcomed guests to the Bahrain National Day celebration, noting that the event also commemorates the 18th anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne. In this regard, Sheikh Abdullah praised His Majesty the King's groundbreaking reform vision, which has shaped Bahrain's foreign policy and helped strengthen its relationship with its closest allies, including the United States. He also highlighted the strength of Bahrain's security partnership with the United States, noting that 2017 marks the 70th anniversary of the United States' oldest military relationship in the region. Ambassador Sheikh Abdullah welcomed the 10th billion U.S. dollars of new business deals signed on the sidelines of His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's recent official visit to the U.S., noting that the magnitude of these deals illustrates the Kingdom's commitment to the United States as a valued trade partner. Sheikh Abdullah concluded that Bahrain-U.S. relations continue to grow and the Kingdom remains committed to exploring new partnership opportunities. Mr. Spencer welcomed the extension of the Bahrain-U.S. Defense Cooperation Agreement, the, DA, rather the DCA, signed during His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's recent visit, noting that the measure will further solidify bilateral relations. In her remarks, the Vice President of the Worldwide Public Sector for AWS highlighted that Bahrain National Day offers an opportunity to acknowledge His Majesty King Hamad's vision, which has guided the Kingdom to a position of leadership across the world. Ms. Carlson acknowledged that with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Bahrain's Economic Development Board, the EDB, Bahrain has become a world leader in cloud computing, embracing a cloud-first policy that is bringing significant value to Bahraini citizens.